We have Loik Razabov versus Abdul Karim Al Sawadi. Loik is 17 5 and 1. He is 3 and 2 in his last five. He's actually coming off of that KO loss to Mataus Rebeki, fighting against Abdul Karim Al Sawadi. 15 and 3. He's 5 and 0 in his last five. He's coming off that Dana White contender series victory via decision. As we look for the odds on this fight, we see that Abdul Karim opened up at plus 150 and now is at minus 169. So first two fights were off the bat. We had dogs open up and now they're favorites. So a lot of people are taking some action on some of these dogs that were uh, initially released. Gerard, what do you think about this fight between Loik and Abdul Karim here? This fight, Loik... He's going to have the size and the strength advantage, I believe. But I think he might be too slow to react against uh, Abdul. I think Abdul, ha he moves pretty well. He has good footwork, good volume, good pace. And Abdul's pretty good at uh, finding positions and grappling. Um, Radzabov, I think... I think they could both both these guys can grapple for sure. And I think um I think Abdul can do some good work with some some leg kicks on Radzabov, slow him down and pick up pick apart Radzabov just from volume and uh and footwork and just piecing him up. Uh Radzabov has been in there with some pretty good fighters, but we see that he can slow down. And to me, it seems Kareem, uh, he, he can keep going at a high pace through three rounds. And I'm going to agree with the line movement here. I think Selwadi can definitely just out volume and out, outwork Radzabov. But Radzabov is going to be a tough opponent here for a for your first match in the UFC. So yeah, I'm going to lean Abdul, but it's like a low confidence in this one. Yeah. I mean, I, I think this is a, a tough one to, to gauge this fight. Um, you know, we have two guys who have kind of distinctive skill sets that are a little different, right? I mean, Loika is obviously more of the the wrestler, in my opinion, he likes to push that grappling pace and just turn an MMA match into a wrestling match. His first UFC debut fight against Esteban Rybovic, he secured 11 takedowns and shot 21 times. Um, that, that's a lot. So he had 7 minutes and 39 seconds of control time. That just goes to show that it's not the best. He doesn't have the best control, but he will continue shooting. Um, he has five sub wins, however, all have come from non UFC PFL bouts. So those sub wins might not hold up very strongly going forward. His striking is okay. I think he likes to just throw some wild power shots and hopefully maybe like, you know, land overhand and then go into a takedown with it. And this, this game plan just, he did not, he was shown levels in his last fight against Rebecca, right? Was out grappled and outstruck. I mean, Rebecca was a much better fighter than him. His legs were absolutely demolished by Rebecca's leg kicks. I, I think that Al Sawadi is more well rounded than Loic, at least. You know, he's a decent all round fighter. I think that he likes to fight at a high pace, whether that's striking or grappling. Although in the Dana White Contender Series fight, he showed off a little bit more striking in that fight. So. I think he's going to probably be the better striker in this matchup. He does like to put the pressure on, pump out good pace volume on the feet. The striking, though, to me, it does seem a little basic. I don't think that there's anything really noteworthy about it. He does have some pop to them, but he's more like a quick pop shot kind of guy rather than a KO person. I think that his wrestling and grappling, he, although he didn't show much of it, you know, he went one for six on takedowns in the Dana White Contender Series. And I think he landed about 20 minutes, I mean, two minutes of control time. So not the best showing for grappling, but his pre-UFC tape showed that he does have some good, you know, single double legs, good takedowns, likes to 
transition quickly to dominant positions, good pressure on top, ground and pound is solid. And Loic has shown, at least to me, to be able to be taken down as well. Uh, and I don't think that he's this guy with crazy good takedown defense. I think that this will be a tough fight to predict. It can go numerous ways. For now, I will just lean towards Loic being able to implement some wrestling on Al Sawadi for a boring decision win. And probably a major reason I'm doing it is because of the Dana White Contender Series fade. So this is going to be his UC UFC debut. This is going to be Loic's third UFC fight. Um, pick here is Loic by decision, but I'm I'm staying far away from this. I don't I don't think I'm going to play that at all. 